Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy DT3, man, and I'm big edge with another video, man. New media. Notification gang. God Squad. It's what it is, man. Hey, look, check this out. Look, man, Tank, I feel bad for you in some ways, but in other ways, I don't feel bad for you. If you really trying to get up out your shit, I feel bad for you. If there's some publicity shit, then I'm bro, you capping. But at the same time, you've been put, I, I respect you as a real nigga, or I look at you as, as such. So if you're really trying to get out your contract, you might have to do what Floyd did with Bob. You might have to buy your way out. Now that depends on what Mayweather price is. Mayweather price might not be ain't well. For sure, I ain't gonna say might not. Mayweather price ain't gonna be Bob Aaron price. We all know that. So Floyd ain't trying to let Tank go for multiple reasons, bro. For one, Tank is gonna bring him money, a good amount of money. He can make Tank the star and push that narrative and all that shit that he been pushing with him and all that because at this point he has some star he has star status in the sport of boxing he 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 is a name he is somebody in boxing period you cannot take that from Javante Tank Davis so I think with that being said and Floyd having Tank and having groomed Tank from the beginning all the way up to this point and he feels like I guess he sh he probably feel like he got some sense of ownership over Tank, which is kind of bullshit. You should never feel like that or when you have somebody, bro. That's kind of fucked up. But what I do know is Tank do want to fight a lot of dudes that Floyd is not cool with him fighting. Because when Loma was talking about fighting Tank a few years back, Tank wanted to fight Loma. Tank wanted to fight him. And I remember that interview when he was at that presser and he was talking and somebody asked him about Loma and he was going to answer about Loma and Floyd decided he wanted to speak up on that for him. So Tank, you either going to have to buy your way out or cut on the nigga, bro. You a grown ass man, bro. The only thing that's uh, that's keeping you there, by in, in sense of any obligation, is that you contractively obligated to be there, bro. You a grown ass man, bro. Got your own kid and everything, bro. Unless you are contractedly obligated to be there, then leave. If there's not a contract that is holding you, sealing you with Mayweather promotions, leave. Ain't nothing keeping you there but you, if if that's the case. But more than likely, by the based on what it look like, if you there in the sense, because you have to be, it's because you you there because you contractively ob obligated to be there. So my nigga, if your and if your contract is up, bro, you can just cut, bro. You don't need nobody to give you permission to do nothing. You could go. Unless you under contract. So from what I'm seeing is one minute your contract is about to be up, next minute your contract is up. What is it? I'll let your boy in the comment section. Is Tank Davis contract up? Is it about to be up? I'll let your boy. Because if your shit up, bruh, you can dip. Because for real, for real, I'm not finna say too much of shit about you and Ryan Garcia until I see what you do in January, pimping. Depending on what happened with you in January, that's gonna depend on what I say about you and Ryan Garcia. I ain't finna say nothing. That's why when people was asking me about it, I'm not finna say shit about Javante Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia and all. I ain't finna say nothing about that shit until I see what Javante Tank Davis do in January. Until then, you ain't finna hear a peep about my opinion about them two niggas. But Tank, bro, for real. <laughs> You a real one, you want to fight everybody, and that's cool. You want to be your own boss, but you got to understand something too, my G. Floyd don't want nobody to outdo him in no way possible. You feel me? He don't. 
And that's another thing. That was another reason why these dudes that y'all fuck with on the PBC side, why they wasn't making those fights on the zone. But it's funny how Floyd hopped his little punk ass on that shit. But they going to make more money than Floyd was making 15, 20 fights in, bro. Floyd wasn't seeing no 7 million, 5 million, 15, 20 fights in, bro. Floyd wasn't seeing that money, bro. This era, fighters are seeing million dollar paydays, shit, 10, 15 fights in now. Just based on their name and their popularity and shit. You got enough popularity, you got enough coming back and behind you and all this shit, you can make a good million. After about a good 10, 15 fights, you can see your first meal. When back in the day, making a meal, that was the big fights. When you didn't see a million till you got the big fights. The fights that we want to see, those was the million dollar fights. Now dudes is getting million dollar paydays and they don't have to fight those fights to get that money. That's why at first Floyd was saying Allen was paying them too much. But that's the era. That's the, that's the uh, trend that you set, Floyd. Everybody wanted to get that money. Now everybody's in a position where they can make more money than Floyd made 10, 15 fights in. And at the rate that it's going, Floyd's money uh, uh, record when he did fall Manny Pacquiao, that could be broken. Depending on the fighters that fight, that record could be broken. With the amount of money that they have to put in to make fights now and, and, and the spectacle that they're trying to make boxing, that, that record could be easily broken. The right fighters come together at the right time. That shit could get broke easy nowadays. And I think, I don't even think, be real with you, I really feel like Floyd is afraid of that shit. He's really afraid of other fighters outdoing him. Because if he was not afraid of that, if that didn't bother him in no way, shape, form, or fashion, he would let these dudes fight whoever. Make them the money. If he really wanted these dudes to make money and be their own boss, if that's really what he wanted, he would put them in that in those positions to do that. He would be okay with dudes going over to the zone and fighting and all that shit and being their own boss and even coming back to PBC fighting on like he'll be cool with that because you your own boss. Okay, I started you, but I want you to I want you to be your own boss. If Floyd really wanted that, he'd be grooming you to do that. Tank, that ain't what I'm seeing from no PBC fighter, bro. He should be pushing everything for him to be beat, everything for him to be broken. He should be pushing for that. If he wasn't worried about his shit being broke. But Floyd don't want nobody to outdo him. He don't. He always want to be ahead. He always want to be in the forefront. He, do want, he doesn't want none of his fighters to have a better career. Than he don't mind them making their little money and, and, and letting them do what they do because they'll never he don't mind them smoking, drinking, doing none of that dumb shit. He don't he, he ain't pushing, he ain't telling them, hey man, stop. He's not pushing that. If he was pushing that shit, he'll be telling y'all he pushing that shit. He'd be putting his energy, everything he be doing will be pushing forward towards doing that type of shit. That's what you will be seeing from him. You don't see that shit. All you see is Floyd taking the limelight, telling y'all what Nigga, we only fighting in-house fights. So Tank Loman ain't going to happen. Just keeping it real with y'all, bro. Y'all be sitting there going with the flow with the bullshit. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. I could tell that Floyd Mayweather don't want nobody to outdo him at all. Period whatsoever but tank for real if you could go just leave bro you a grown-ass man ain't nothing keeping you there bro unless you there by because con you are contractually obligated to be there other than that get the fuck on bro do you it's y'all i say that about all fighters though every fighter should be able to just do that every fighter should be, i want to fight this dude and be able to go over there and fight that dude that's how it should be ain't nothing wrong with that it's just you promoters. And Floyd, all you did was become the thing that you hate. You just, the, the one thing that you didn't like being done to you in your career, you, in a sense, became that to your fighters. Because, you know, Tank is, is your golden goose, so to speak. So you don't want to let him just wander off and do him. In a sense, you're probably trying to tell him, I'm protecting you. He a grown-ass man, bro. He's not... 
17, 18, 19, 20, 21, maybe 23. You could kind of pull some little shit. But, bro, that nigga, th- damn that, th- bro, he a grown-ass man, dog. Cut the cat, bro. That nigga know what the fuck he doing. He know what the fuck he want, bro. He's a grown-ass man, bro. So all this bullshit, they be trying to act like, oh, I'm protecting, bro, like niggas can't think for they self type shit, bro. Tank ain't stupid, deaf, blind, or retarded, bro. Cut the cap, homie. Real rap. Tank, if you can go, go, bro. I want to see you fight these niggas, bro. I want to see it. A lot of these dudes that, that that's talking about you, I think you could be. December dedication, 100.